these games are ranked by PlayScore, a unique rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list is Rocket League. Say goodbye to real-life soccer and a welcome hello to the roaring engines of indestructible cars. Rocket League is a sports game that takes over-the-top silliness to one fun multiplayer experience. It was originally released on the PC in 2015, where it took the gaming world by storm. The Xbox One port was released half a year later to the same fanfare. The goal, pun intended, of the game is simple. Use your rocket-powered vehicle to control one giant ball, race across the pitch, and score a goal. It's literally soccer with a big hauling metal twist. Rocket League has won numerous awards and, apparently, it has become a notable inclusion to the esports scene. Raise a hand if you want cross-platform play. Simple, addictive, and definitely worth it. It has a play score of 8.57. In the ninth place is Doom. Be the most badass demon killer in Mars. A portal to hell has been opened and hundreds of demons are crawling out of it. Unleash the Doom Slayer in you and cleanse the hell-infested research facility of these evil creatures. This reboot to the classic Doom franchise brings robust upgrades. It's still the same first-person action we all love and it's still as gory as ever. But with the capabilities of modern consoles, you can clearly see the satisfaction in every demon you shoot, sever, and rip to shreds. Doom is widely praised for his fast-paced action, cool weapons, and of course, the better graphics. However, its multiplayer offering is deemed generic and is central to most criticisms. It's still a worthy addition to the franchise though. It has a play score of 8.62. Eight in the ranking is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It's good to see our favorite ninjas back on the arena. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 is the final installment of the Ultimate Ninja series. The main campaign is set in the fourth Shinobi World War. Explore a series of linear storylines and uncover the mystery behind the dark crevices of the ninja world. But that's not the highlight when it comes to CyberConnect 2's game. It's always the combat. Engage yourself in an energetic skirmish in its 3D arena similar to its previous installments. There are a ton of new changes to this game, including elemental damage, removal of combat styles, and the addition of character swapping. Players can now switch characters mid-battle, similar to Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Critics have praised this game for its dedicated fan service, narrative, and cel-shaded visuals. It has a play score of 8.67. Number 7 is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. What could be better than the original Skyrim? I don't know, maybe a special edition? Bethesda's award-winning game further transcends gaming history for being one of the greatest RPGs of all time. Though we have to admit, we really thought Bethesda was gonna announce Elder Scrolls 6 during recent events. This recreation comes with all three DLC packs, with all the glorious graphical updates that utilize current gen's better processors. Plus, new characters, armor, weapons, quests, and more. Who needs graphical mods, right? And speaking of mods, this game has full mod support, though it's still not as diverse as the PC. So don't be surprised when you see Thomas the Train flying the skies of Skyrim. Anyway, enjoy the beauty and lore of Tamriel once more, and claim that epic dragon shout. Fus Roda! It has a play score of 8.72. Rank number 6 is Titanfall 2. Respawn's high-powered entry to the first-person scene falls from the sky with Titanfall 2. This sequel to the critically acclaimed Titanfall brings the series to even more clanking metal and falling bipedal machines. The combat remains similar, but with seven new gameplay styles, such as sliding, grappling hooks, and the powerful new pulse blade to rip your enemies to shreds. Another great addition to the game is the new Titan types. There are over six loadout Titans to choose from that offer a wide variety of skills. Players can pick the Strider class Titan to cut your enemies in precision, or an Ogre class Titan to burn enemies to the ground. It's two of the many possibilities of its new content. Also, Titanfall is notable for its reintroduction of the campaign mode. Critics have praised it for being sensical and not just some load of cash grab story. It has a play score of 8.75. In the fifth place is Dishonored 2. Technical problems with the PC version aside, Dishonored 2 is a cold-blooded sequel to Arkane Studios' stealth action series. Set 15 years after the first game, travel to a fictional land of Karmica and embroil yourself in a political conflict full of morally difficult decisions. It's the first Dishonored game to feature two playable characters. 
choose between Emily or Corvo as they exact revenge on the people responsible for the usurpation of Emily's rightful claim to the throne. But what's surprising about this game is its multiple approaches to combat. It's still a fun stealth game and it can also be a kill fest, but that choice is up to you. Will you use your supernatural abilities to take down your target or let him live? It's in these moments that Dishonored 2 delivered, and we can't wait for our favorite YouTubers to do a no-kill run. It has a play score of 8.79. Fourth in the ranking is Dark Souls 3. Ah, Dark Souls. They say every time you say Dark Souls, a player dies in game. That's the myth anyway. But it's not that far off from the truth. From Software's brutal third-person action adventure not only excels in terms of combat and visuals, it's also a satisfying conclusion to the Souls trilogy. Once again, players step inside its gothic world filled with ugly beasts and unpredictable enemy movements. Use your trusty dodge roll ability to counter every attack possible and make sure you're always on your toes. Because it's Dark Souls. Damn it, a player dies again. Just recently, they released a new DLC, Ashes of Ariandel, that adds hours of new content and it's set in a visually pleasing painted world. Dark Souls has a play score of 8.90. Number 3 is Battlefield 1. DICE travels back to a century to bring you the most immersive first-person shooter game to date. Set in the chaotic World War I, embrace yourself in a battle of intense dogfights, heavy artillery, heart-racing zeppelin explosions, and some shovel combat. Alongside this new setting comes a campaign that also takes a meaningful approach to story. However, it was criticized for being too short. And of course, the most wonderful thing about Battlefield 1 is the multiplayer. It is the core feature of the game and the reason why many players come back for more. Critics have praised its new game modes, weapons, and its smooth and dynamic open area battles. It's definitely one of the finest Battlefield games to date. It has a play score of 8.92. Second in the ranking is Inside. From the makers of Limbo comes a whole new game that will surely leave players perplexed and entranced. Play Dead's Inside is a 2.5D side-scrolling platformer with intense and eerie atmosphere. Control a boy as he plunges himself into a mysterious dystopian world filled with unsettling conformity, strange creatures, and a weird ending. The gameplay is similar to Limbo. Players solve various puzzles to continue on to the next checkpoint. Players will also die again and again if they're not careful. So be very vigilant at all times. And there's a new gameplay mechanic that lets the player control other characters to crack the game's riddles. Inside truly is a marvel and is praised for its odd story as well as the excellent puzzle platforming. It does have a fair share of criticisms, mainly around its short game time. It has a play score of 9.08. And here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Unleash your ultimate form and get pumped in this ambitious Dragon Ball game. Play score of 8.55. Gears of War 4. Save the universe from foreign threats and decimate them with your powerful weapons. It has a play score of 8.55. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. A brilliant remaster of the most popular Call of Duty game comes with new visuals, enhanced audio, and more. A play score of 8.55. Final Fantasy 15. Help Noctis and friends reclaim their power to the throne in another wonderful adventure from the Final Fantasy series. A play score of 8.53. Ori in the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. Help Ori save a decaying world in full HD glory. This remarkable indie game gets a play score of 8.53. Overwatch. The world could use more than 20 million heroes in Blizzard's high-octane first-person shooter. A play score of 8.50. Resident Evil 4 HD. Follow Leon Kennedy once more in a high definition quest to save the president's daughter. Monsters included. A play score of 8.50. Super Hot. Control the flow of time, but take caution. This first person shooter game shows a uniqueness. It receives a play score of 8.48. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Adam Jensen is back with his cool body augmentations. Help him track mysterious organizations and put them down. A play score of 8.48. XCOM 2 Humanity has lost in a war against a foreign race. Now it's up to you to reclaim what's yours. 
it has a play score of 8.41. You can get these games right now by clicking the links in the description box below. And the best Xbox One game of 2016 is Forza Horizon 3. Voila! Microsoft's frontrunner to the racing scene gets to shine with bright lights in this third installment of the Horizon franchise. It is also the ninth entry to the overall Forza series. This open-world racing game is set in the beautiful Australian region, and what's amazing about Horizon is its attention to detail. This world is twice the size of its previous installment, and it features over 350 cars. This game is a joy when it comes to multiplayer. Play with up to four of your friends with co-op or online play. It also has a cross-platform play so that you can keep in touch with other players on the PC. Critics have praised this game for being so dynamic and full of content worthy of the price you paid. There's no doubt that Forza Horizon 3 is the best Xbox One game of 2016, and it has a play score of 9.15. We publish three gaming videos every week. Don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside the subscribe button, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Subscribe now and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.